Canada Bread pleaded guilty in court and was fined after it admitted it worked with the rival to push up the cost of bread. The company, which makes brands like Dempster's, has been under investigation since 2016. Obviously, it's been some time coming, but this is a very, very large investigation. Matthew Boswell runs Canada's Competition Bureau. He says this is the largest price-fixing fine ever. $50 million is a significant amount of money for for you know, most companies, um, and I think it, it should deter them. Grocery giants Loblaw and George Weston admitted to playing a part in the scheme in 2017 and got immunity from prosecution. Now Canada Bread says one of its bosses discussed prices with an executive at Weston Foods, which resulted in price hikes in 2007 and 2011. Back then, it was owned by Maple Leaf Foods. Mexico's Grupo Bimbo bought Canada Bread in 2014. It's really easy just to sort of blame it on the former regime and say, you know what, they were bad, we're not bad, we just want to get this behind us. Other major players like Metro, Sobeys, Walmart Canada, Giant Tiger and Maple Leaf Foods are still under investigation. They maintain they haven't done anything wrong, though this latest development could prompt others to come forward. This is a significant fine, this is a second player, and now you really do have a conspiracy. This case hits home for shoppers who buy bread weekly. It may be tough to regain their trust. They need to be held account for it, right? Did anybody go to jail? No. Horrible. We've got to stop big business from trying to gouge every penny they can out of us. These revelations come with grocers already under huge scrutiny over soaring food prices. And while Canada Bread will pay the $50 million fine to the federal government, it and other major players are also named in two class action lawsuits. Nisha Patel, CBC News, Toronto.